see how the body wants to move there. Birthday dinner. Swing your arms if you need to. I always like to. Few more. We're gonna go on our backs. We're gonna work on a sit up with a rotation. Keep your knees bent, big toes on the floor. Come up, just bring your elbow to the outside of one knee. Oh wait, what to ask for? Take the time to twist. more and let's go on our stomachs and work with the back extension bend on the shoulders elbows reaching towards the ceiling and push up that's it some hands off the mat push-ups three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go into a all fours position. Oh, four, Barry. Can you see me over there? Okay, look at that. Knees just off the mat. From here, we're going to walk forward to an inchworm. An inchworm, you're going to go about four or five cranks, a little bit longer than shoulder line. You're going to spin your biceps up, find your hollow body, and walk back to call baby position. Knees just hovering off the mat. Let's do it again. Inch warm it out and back. Three, four, five. Seven. Try not to go into a bear crawl. Keep the hips low. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. We're going to stand up. We're going to forward lunge. Switch your leg. 
deep squat. So one lunge left, one lunge right, one squat. Legs open, arms open, come up, straight legs, step and twist. One, two, so rotate right through, look over your back shoulder, four, five, try not to arch the back and you go down, keep the core tight. Down dog. Try to come out of it as gracefully as you can. We're going to work with a yoga push up. Let's just walk our hips out here. So bend one knee straight the other. Come back to down dog. Just going to dive forward. Put your knees on the mat if you like. We're going to work with a nice deep back bend. Exhale, try to dive back to down dog. Press your chest towards your shin, spin your armpits towards your face. Here we go, dive it down. Up dog. Exhale, push it back. Three, dive. Four, Five, six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Do it again. We're gonna add a jump to our squat. You ready? Only ten. Squat. Jump. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Go on your back. Knees bent. Big toes on the floor. Elbow to the outside of your knee. Let's do ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's push up to high plank. We're gonna lower down, hands off the mat, push ups. Drive your elbows to the ceiling. 
press up and spin your elbow pits forward, working on torque. Here's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going back to that baby curl position, knees just one inch off the mat, hips low, walk it out to inchworm. Full inchworm, spin your biceps to the ceiling, walk it back, keep the hips low. There's two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll see you. One more. We're going to stand up. One lunge. Left. One lunge right. One squat. Grab weights if you like. Just keep it simple. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Using leverage on that outer leg, increase your rotation. Three, we're only doing ten. Four, chest up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Back to high plank. Working on those yoga push ups. Let's start it down dog, Larry. Dive it forward. Up dog, inhale. Exhale, push back to down dog. Inhale, rise up. Exhale. Two more. Nine. Ten. Grab your weight for chest press. So grab the heavier 
heavier one for 15 chest press. You can hang out the glute bridge or take it to some core work or just chill right out as you press up. I like glute. So here we go, 15, one, two, let me know if you need a heavier weight, three, four, your pace press there, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You're going to keep one weight past the around your legs. So sit up, go back down in between. 10 left, 10 right. Two, three, four, <coughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. We're going to go all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five push ups. Challenge it as best you can. Maybe arms wide. Maybe one leg off the mat. Maybe on your knees. Three to five. And then 50 mountain climbers. Then 50 mountain climbers. Let's do it. And we're going to repeat all that again for 12 minutes. So 15 chest press, 10 pass the weight around each leg, five push up, 50, five zero, down climbers. Got it? Let's do it. One five chest press. Ten, ten, pass the weight around your legs. Apply your knee tucks. Ten one way, ten the other. Five push ups only. Repeat again. Five minutes gone. Seven minutes to go.
Push-ups. Your challenge. Five zero mountain tigers. Got time to do it again. Probably time to do it two more times. Time is on our side. Right away, push it. Right away, the mouth timers. We got time for one more. Let's finish up. Let's finish this one. Be done early, hold play. Right to your mouth climbers. Go, go, go. Hold plank when you're done. All right. 
grab some water. My name's Doreen Tech. That was just a little deep up to warm up. We don't need rest. Make sure you have a skipping rope, some weights, something to do thrusters maybe. We're gonna use a ball, a box nearby. Your body, and now you're good to go. But for now, we're not gonna skip. We're gonna do deadlifts, 50 seconds. Working on technique. Grab your heavier stir weight. We're going to do some dead bets. We're going. We go through a series of exercises, 50 seconds each, 10 second rest. So we're gonna go through all of them at least three times. And then we're gonna do some yoga. So give it all you got. Go in another 10 seconds. Then we're gonna skip. We get our 10 second rest, right? All right, put your weights to the side. Grab your skipping rope. We're gonna go in three, two, one. You got a good length there? It's really a lot of time. You got a chance to organize. Grab a heavier set of weights. You're going to have one weight up, one weight down. Reverse lunge. 
switch. Ready? Go. Alternate your arms, alternate your legs. Three, two, one, rest. Next one's a burpee with four mountain climbers. Three, two, one. So going down, come up to plank, four mountain climbers, jump for it, jump up. Go all the way down, plank. Five seconds. One more. Rest. Drop one or two of your weights for a goblet squat. You got two, crush them together. Let's go squat and up. For that's deadness. Okay, wait, ready? Five, three, two, go. Next exercise is skipping. Thirty seconds. Press your heels to step. Your shoulders pinch together. <laughs> Five seconds. We're gonna skip. Ten seconds. You have time to grab your rope. Not so much water. Ready? Two, one, go. Fast as you can. Double it up. Five seconds. 
Down. jump switch. Three, two, one, let's go. Reverse lunge. Ready? Get your hands. Go. Ten seconds. We went into that burpee with four mountain climbers. Five seconds. Two more. Rest. So burpee, four mountain climbers. Three, two, one. Go. Ten seconds. One more. Rest. Dumbbell squats. Press grip. Three. Two, let's go. Three, two, one. 
stretch. This one. Chin in. Twenty seconds. Skipping 10 seconds. Rope ready. Last transition. Step. Three, two, go. I will stay up. Three, two, go. Throw it up. Lunge. Two, one, go. Rest. 
turkey or mountain climbers. Three, two, go. Five seconds, couple more. Rest. Last exercise, dumbbell squat. Go. Let's start it. Halfway. Halfway yoga next. And hip. Rest. Keep a good 30 seconds rest. Grab water. Going into yoga. There you go. I typically like to go right into the next. Slow your breathing down with movement. Keep the mind. All I want to do. Ready, guys? Put your legs up. Grab up his elbows. And tall. Notice if you overarch the spine or if there's a little bit of a hollow body fold. Create that hollow body fold. Side bend to your left. Back to your center. Side bend to your leg. Back to your center. Bend your knees a little. You're going to hinge from the waist. Keep the elbows interlocked. Just going to pull in. As you hang, bring your biceps to the back of your ears and send your heels to the outer edge of your body. Just torque a little bit. Come from the mat. Keep your legs back. Sit all the way down. Sit on the floor. Bring your arms inside you. Palms down. We're going to bring our arms underneath us. We're keeping our chin on the mat for this one. Relax your left leg. Tighten up your right. And lift your right leg up. Try to keep your pelvic bone still on your arm as you lift that arm. So don't rotate. Just extend. Back on the mat. Relax your right leg. Tighten up your left and lift it up. Again, that pelvic bone stays on your forearm. Just working on hip extension. Back extension. Lower the left. Relax the left. Bring your forehead over the mat. Tighten up both legs together. You have one leg. Lift both legs up together. Just hold. Lower down slowly. 
unravel your arms. Interlock them right behind you, right along your tailbone. Keep your big toes touching, legs tight. Just lift your chest, your head, your neck, everything off the floor. And just hold. Slowly lower. Release your hands. Push up. Down dog. Right leg up, bend your right knee, go to your shoulder. We're gonna step forward to a little lunge. Bring your back leg knee on the mat. We're gonna straighten this front leg and try to sit towards our back heel. Your front foot flexed. As I'm sitting back, I'm also trying to lift my butt bones up, arching my low back a little bit more. And that will take the pelvic bones back. If you want to, you can take this to a full split. Some of you may, some of you may not. I'm gonna rock back into that front foot. Send your back knee more back. We'll come on to your forearms if that's an option for you. So deep, deep pickles in there. If that's not an option, you might want to just stay on your hands and work on lifting your breastbone up. You can increase your hip uh, stretch that way. And then maybe slightly bending your elbows as you're doing a push up. As long as that bottom breastbone stays lifted. So walk away from that leg. How that in you. So come on, your forearms too tough, yeah. Some of them are on the forearms. And then walk back. Come up. We're going to heel toe this foot over to the other wrist. You have that in you? Go very pigeon pose. And then we're going to just take it to a quarter pose again. Come back up, keep the pigeon position. We're going to try to drop the grind down towards the floor. Coming in an upright position of your spine. Just try to drop the grind towards the floor. If you're comfortable there, maybe bend your back leg, knee, reach back. Maybe you can squat a good stretch. You can enter or uh, walk your forearm around that shin. <sighs> try to keep the torso upright. And sending that back hip forward, you get the upper flexibility. Release. And let's take that leg back to plank and then to downward dog. Let's lift the left leg, heel to opposite shoulder. Step through. Low lunge, bring your back leg knee on the mat. Foot on the foot, let's straighten the front knee, the front foot flexed, and stretch that down. You can keep that front knee bent a little bit, you can focus on the upper hamstring even, just by slightly arching your back, pulling your hip bones back more. Take it to a full split if you like. Bend your front knee. Come to the mat. Keep your back leg knee back or just try to create a little bit more of an opening between your legs. You can come down on your forearms if you like. Bring it from your hands. But the focus here is to keep that spine long. So not just on the back side, but through the front spine, spine, spine as well. So lifting the breastbone up. You don't want to round. If you round your spine, 
your limbs will stay short. So you need to lay from the side first. So that's why you might want to stay on your hands or drop into the floor. So let's twist the waist that leg. Back to your center. If you're on your forearm, come up to your hand. Let's heel toe that foot over to the other wrist. And let's take it into nice hip opener. Pigeon pose, forward fold. We just relax here. Back up on your hands. Keep the pigeon position. You're just going to try to draw up into that groin a little bit. Bend your back leg knee if you need to. Increase that quad stretch a little bit. Maybe wrapping the forearm around the shin, up the foot, dropping into that pelvis, stretching the upper quad. Release it there. Back into the plank. Down dog. Let's go down into child pose. Get the left super nice finish. Walk to your left side. Back to your center. And over to your other side. Back to your center. And then we're done, guys. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Hey, where's me? <laughs> we miss him. <laughs>